Good and hello everyone, today is May 14th, 2017 or today, and it's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the fabulous mothers out there who has gave us life and has cared for us for many years. Um, so my mom is currently um, still in bed and um, I'm going to be cooking her some breakfast this morning and I'll surprise her. It's the only thing that I know When it gets hard, you know it can get hard sometimes. But it's the only thing that makes us feel alive. We keep this love in a photograph. We made these memories for ourselves, where our eyes are never closing. Hearts are never broken, and time's forever frozen still. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans, holding me closer till our eyes meet. You won't ever be alone. Wait for. can heal loving can mend your soul and it is the only thing that I know I know I swear it will get easier remember that with every piece of you and it is the only when we die We keep this love in a photograph We made these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing Hearts are never broken and Time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped so I finished cooking and then I gave it to my mom and then she ate it. Uh, I didn't record her eating it like how I do it like every single year uh, because I was like super tired. Uh, I was I was super tired um, just cooking and so I just didn't <laughs> record it but she ate it. It was delicious and uh, now it's 12 right now and i don't know what we're gonna have for lunch uh we'll find out wait for me to come home wait for me to come so it is two o'clock right now and we're gonna go get some uh, lunch right now uh i don't know what we're gonna get to uh eat but uh, getting some lunch right now so my crush just spammed me on Facebook and then uh, she was like, where else can I spam you? And I was like, Twitter and Instagram and I didn't think she would actually spam me, but uh, she did. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for the spam. Inside these pages you just hold me and I won't ever let you go. So much people. Ah. Well, it's just a typical out there. Just keep it real with yourself. I may have one that pulled up without onion. Like one real key without onion. Then uh, two pan pie, two cook. Two pan fries, two cokes. So double double no onion, grilled cheese, no onion, two fries, two cokes. Mm -hmm. Will you be eating this in the car? Yeah. Boy, who ain't you? I'ma blow up and see what this fame do. If you fuck up, I'ma bounce like a kangaroo. But I play it cool, slide through for the hot one. You need drugs, you need advice, yeah, I got some. This is 
fall from the end and fall from the beginning This is somewhere in the middle, hit my phone when you slip it, damn It's 2 a.m. and you feel like calling I know what you want by the tone that you talking Just get to the point with a boss I got a couple shots in me, yeah, I'm gone I'ma make you feel like we just robbed the bank I'ma make you forget that you got to get up in the A Pretty Puerto Rican, snapping at the mouth. Lick a love of anger makes your accent come out. Better calm the fuck down with your attitude. So we're going to Costco right now. We're gonna go see uh, their prices for printing and pictures and stuff. Cause I need to print some pictures for my clients. And yeah, so let's see what's up. Then breathe out. It's 2 a.m. and you feel like calling. I know what you want by the tone that you talk and just get to the point with a boss. Got a couple shots in me, yeah, I'm gone I'ma make you feel like we just robbed the bank I'ma make you forget that you got to get up in the A.M. A.M. It's 2 a.m. and you feel like calling I know what you want by the tone that you talk And just get to the point with a boss I got a couple shots in me, yeah, I'm gone I'ma make you feel like we just robbed the bank I'ma make you forget that you got to get So I just woke up from like an hour nap at my grandma's house and uh, now I don't know where we're going but I woke up to a spam of likes from my crush and made me happy to be honest and uh, and then I spammed her back like a couple hours ago and then she was like don't die from uh, li liking her photos and her photos and I was like I, uh, I liked like half of her post and like I liked half her post and then I couldn't I survived because I saw her cuteness and I said god you're so pretty and beautiful and she hasn't replied yet but uh, oh you guys know but uh yeah so we are finally home and she did reply she said that aww I looked ugly in middle school and I was like no you don't uh you look cute in middle school and you look even cuter now and so, and yes, I do put my music right here. Uh, I don't have a stand. I can't afford a stand. So this is my stand for now. So yeah, don't judge. So I was just watching the Mother's Day 2016 video, and it looks like I was like skinny back then. Uh, my face wasn't that chubby, and I feel like um, I've gained weight over the year, and I've been eating more. <laughs> And I've been eating more, and uh, now my face looks chubby. Uh, here's a comparison. Don't you guys agree? So comment down below if you guys agree. And if you guys don't agree, you guys should tell me why. It's a chubby face. <laughs> so I'm gonna go treat my mom as a Mother's Day dinner. Uh, we're gonna go to Old Garden. I got a girl who with me for me. I got a team who believe in the dream. I got a family who want me to win. I got some friends who with me till the end. I got some fans who be ride or die. I got some music to change your life. I know I do it cause it's changing mind. Saying I ain't the man would have been alive. Used to write about it, now I see that shit for real. You know I've been on a roll, so I reinvent the wheel. I ain't got no time to stall. Guess I hold the pressure in. Game been for playing for ages, think I'm about to it took about two minutes to actually get in because we were party of two, which is pretty good. Happy Mother's Day. So we just ordered two vanilla Italian sodas, uh, and uh, we're gonna get our appetizers in a minute. We're gonna get fried mozzarella. And now, you tell me? Said I'm the man, I'm the man now. You tell me? Who the man, who the man now? You tell me? Said I'm the man, I'm the man now. Circles never leave me alone. So my mom's food was like super bitter and we 
favorite was being a witch about it and um, giving me up to it. And then she was like, what can I do about it? I mean, you can take it back to the kitchen and make a new one and you should give me better service than that. Look at how burnt that is. This one's the old one. Look at the new one. It looks better than this one. This one looks so burnt. Cause I never can leave it alone. Talking about somebody rolling boulevard down and making it count for efforts I can't. So shout out to my awful waitress at Olive Garden. Um, I really don't know how you actually got your job. I don't know if you got any training towards it. Um, but from tonight's experience, you were horrible. Uh, so my mom ordered an eggplant um, and she ate it and it was burnt and bitter and it was just awful and you really can't eat it anymore. So uh, our waitress was just hiding. Uh, she never really asked if our food is okay, if we were okay, if we needed anything. Uh, she was just hiding. Uh, so we saw her pass by once and I was like, excuse, I was like, excuse me, uh, my mom thinks this is bitter. Uh, she was like, what do you want me to do about it? That like rolled her eyes. And then I was like, you should send it back to the kitchen and make her a new one. And she's like, okay. And then like one or two minutes later, it was finished. How do you cook an eggplant that fast? But then the second time it actually tasted good. That attitude, I really don't know how you, you got your job, but um, if you're tired from working an eight hour shift, you should still uh, make the customer, you should you should still treat the customer um, well. If something's burnt, you should just say, I'm sorry, uh, I'll bring that I'll bring that back to the kitchen and make you a new one, but she didn't do that. So I'm questioning if uh, she even got any training towards this. Uh, the second thing is that she just brought out the food. And then we were like taking pictures of it, uh, I was vlogging about it. And then, uh, and then she, like a minute later, then she was like, Good with your food? Do you want to go back for that? And I was like, I just got my food. I just got my food and I haven't eaten any part of it. I was like, what? And then uh, she just went off and then she just went. And then she just started walking. They gave her a $5 tip. Uh, our total was like $70 and I only gave her like $5. I only gave her like a $5 tip because uh, that was just an awful experience. Just an awful experience. I've been there so many times. And this is like the first time that the waiter or waitress has been so awful just ridiculous but uh i enjoyed my food i enjoyed the appetizer i drink i enjoyed my drink and uh my mom enjoyed her food the second time but, yeah.